Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate episode number 9 reaction. Alright, uh, the previous episode, um, we are in the school trip. We are uh, like, you know, like Komi and uh, like, you know, uh, Tadano, Najimi, all of them like, you know, kind of met in the train station. They got in the train and uh, yeah now the group has been set there were multiple groups uh tadano is in the group of katai and uh, naruse while um komi is in the group of the two other girls i forgot their name they were introduced in the previous episode and uh, those two and uh, yeah the whole school trip started and um, yeah, quite a few things happened they went to different places there was that part with the uh, tour guide as well you know the tour lady uh, she was kind of giving them like you know, little uh, you know explanations of the different stuffs, but people were barely listening. But in the end, she realized that there was at least one people, which person, which was Komi and Tadano, were listening. And she realized like the reason why she wanted to make like you know do be in this profession, all that you know. And uh, yeah, that was like a nice section. Then there was the whole um, <laughs> hot springs section, you know, not hot springs. Uh, the bathing section not hot springs sorry and the bathing section where you know like the like in the, the whole girls were like you know uh, doing one thing like and obviously uh, yabai was doing her usual thing you know like getting um yeah like you know like since komi was there she was getting excited on her own <laughs> while on the other hand tadano's group was also kind of interesting because we actually see what he was doing with his friends which was basically katai and naruse they were like just posing and like Tadano was taking pictures and everything after the, their uh, like you know bathing ended and it, it was really like you know fun and i'm, I'm glad to see that Tadano also have his own group of friends and having fun on his own um so <laughs> yeah and in the end there was that whole section of pillow fight you know and uh, the girls were having pillow fights and <laughs> Yeah, in the end, we see Komi is very happy, you know, this is the first time, like, with her friends that she is somewhere outside. And, uh, yeah, she's having a good time. So, we, I'm guessing we're going to continue from there. Um, yeah, let's see what happens today. So, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Cool trip day 2. Free time. Okay. Hmm. Sasaki and there you go, Kato. Good morning. Yes. What the? Wait, what? <laughs> they're, they're probably like nervous. All right. Everything's a bit too quiet. Wow, Komi's quite tall. I've noticed it now. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's taking out her planning. Yep, there you go. <laughs> um, yes. I don't think my <laughs> Osaka. Whoa. Okay. Shogi. Oh, interesting. Ah. Wait, was that a reference or something? Because it censored the. <laughs> well. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> just just like how intelligent like you know like people who study say that oh i've not studied at all you know like i'm gonna fail in this test and they're the top the next day 
the <laughs> okay whoa extra pass wait what oh my god what is this <laughs> spider <laughs> I love the references that they make. Honey Potter, okay, what? Wow. <laughs> Yo, the references in this episode. We, was, we started the episode and there's like so many references. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, it's not a ride, but. 40 seconds uh, she's a shogi player that kind of makes sense you know like always calculating and everything <laughs> let's go then yes <laughs> yeah Hmm. Did she already finish eating? What? <laughs> oh my god. So Daiji. <laughs> oh my god, the deer crackers. Wait, are they really called like Shika Senbei or Deer Crackers just because deers eat them? Or like, is that like an actual, like just a name for the sake of it? <laughs> oh my god. Yo, the deer is like, okay. Oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. That was a huge chunk that it took. <laughs> Knees are giving out. Oh, are they late? Oh my god. Okay, thank god they're here. At least. There's a lot of seats I can see. They, they can also sit down. Hmm. Ah! Well. Oh my god. Oh boy. This is awkward. Uh, well, come we can. Oh, she she wanted to talk, but she since she's not used to talking, she just. There you go. Oh, what the? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Everyone's friends again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everything went well. 
damaged. Oh, she's writing something? Yeah. Let's run. What? Wait. <laughs> Do they have enough energy for that? <laughs> Damn, Komi's like, like, yo, look at Komi running. <laughs> okay. Kutomaki Studio Park. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Mrs. Worldwide. Oh my God. She, she lost. She lost. What? <laughs> um, who the hell are you? What is happening? <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Kumi doesn't know what's happening. She went to the toilet? Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god what is that what Wait, is she like a... Does she have like a secret identity or something? Is she, is she like good at martial arts or something? No, wait, what is that? What is that in his, her hand? Yo-yo? Oh my god. Wait, what? <laughs> wait, she's actually using... Her yo-yo skills too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that. <laughs> this caused caused a lot of mental damage to the enemies, so the enemies had to run away. <laughs> the enemies confused. Oh my god, I thought she was like a martial artist or something. But no, she, she's just good at yo-yo. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but it worked. Wait, you're... Oh my god, you... You messed up. Your, your gloves. The secret identity is all already over. <laughs> okay, interesting. That's what it was in the opening. I've I seen the opening. There was like a person wearing a mask. I was like, who is that? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Nine turns, okay, let's see. <laughs> How did you know that? Yeah, exactly. We just said it was a mask. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we never m mentioned which it was. Ah. <laughs> she already did her research. <laughs> you research on Ah.
No, they're not. This is playful banter. Hmm. Oh. Number professional film. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's a yo yo. Oh, almost checkmated. There you go. Okay, you just completely. Destroyed the atmosphere. <laughs> Hanyasa, okay. <laughs> superhero name. If, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, she didn't realize that. Still. <laughs> oh my god, she's like, ah, why did I do that? That's so embarrassing. You, she went in with her bag. <laughs> Obviously, because the mask is in there. <laughs> Well, but at least Komi was impressed, you know. Mm. Baby, oh my god, the references here. Go shoot, <laughs> let it rip. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Oh, he's out. There you go. <laughs> wow. Why, why, Hanya? Four thousand five hundred yen for a mask? Really? Okay. Oh, then maybe they'll be good. Oh. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> Yo, the subtitles. Calm down, the subtitles. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Okay, I wonder what she's going to write Wait, what? Oh my god Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, she's thinking about it. <laughs> well, she did try to touch Tadano's hand, you know? You remember that episode? <laughs> First letter. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hey, it's there you go. Hito, hito. Tada no hito, hito. Yeah, tada no hito, hito. That's why H. They said last name, didn't they? Yeah. <clears throat> what? <laughs> She, she could have just grabbed it, you know, instead of... <laughs> but, yeah, oh my god. Okay, nice. That was a productive... It's asleep, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously. <laughs> Oh. Hmm. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Hopefully the whole class realizes that little by little. <laughs> because they still keep keep her in a pedestal. Oh no! Is, is she going to like kind of scribble on her face or something, doodle? That'll be hilarious. Oh no! What? What type of a prank is this? Yeah, it, it, Kata is there, so there you go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no! Oh, I thought that was Yamai for a second. Their, their character design is quite similar, especially the hair and everything. <laughs> okay, don't keep staring like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Up. Oh. Wow. I wonder what's going to happen when she wakes up. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're upside down. Yo, your hair. <laughs> She's like, am I dreaming? What is this? <laughs> oh, two, three minutes? That was not long. <laughs> oh my god. Osaka Futomaki. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow this this section is really cool that the whole like you know, one by one the pictures they're showing wow
<laughs> Wait, did she just show him the Hanya? Oh no. Okay. All right. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Food cramped. <laughs> oh my god she remembered that <laughs> bonus Najimi returned to the seats uh Okay. <laughs> 79. Okay, two more friends. There you go. Okay, that was that was perfect. A really good um trip. It's ended up becoming. Now <clears throat> we'll begin this episode with Komi and these two. I need to remember their name. I have to say their names. Okay. Sasaki is the girl, the yo-yo girl. And Kato Mikuni. Sasaki. Sasaki and Kato. I probably will forget again within a few moments. But anyway, I'm going to, like, if I forget, I'm going to call her the yo-yo girl and the shogi girl. Because I'm pretty sure it'll take a little bit of time for me to get used to their name. Um, because like you know it's kind of difficult to actually remember ca certain characters name when they're introduced as pairs you know like because there's two names so usually you kind of mix it up and everything and it's kind of difficult to remember so <laughs> yeah anyways um sasaki and kato okay um these two um they have like you know made plans and everything to not they but uh, kato made plans like a like a little schedule to do like you know the, the like you know, to have like a perfect time when they got their free time and today was the day when they got their free time so they were like all right let's go and uh, let's you know uh, see the different uh, sites so at first they were kind of awkward among each other but uh, kato brought out the book the schedule and she was like here you go let's go along like you know along this this little like you know schedule and do the things now we can see one thing that uh, Kato is quite, um, what can I say, very um, like you know, kind of calculates things and does it according to the schedule or the plan, goes according to plan completely if it kind of moves apart from the plan a little bit. You know, she tries to avoid that and she's very like you know, diligent in that manner, which I'm guessing kind of is because she is a shogi player and you know like shogi, shogi like you know, always you have to kind of look at what the like you know the other person is doing plan accordingly and go according to the plan as far as I, like you know no shogi has like a lot of moves that you can like you know go with you know like there's like predetermined moves and each move has like a name or something as far as i can remember kind of like chess in a way and um, you know like um like this is what what i know from sangatsu no lion from uh, march comes in like a lion uh, all that I know about Shogi is from that show and so I might be wrong about certain sections but as far as I know that's how it goes and you need to like you know like kind of calculate what uh, like you know what what to do what what move to use when someone do, does something else and there's like a certain time limit this and that so his her like you know meticulous manner of making a plan from the beginning and going according to that and always like you know trying to maintain the plan it's probably because of that you know and uh, <laughs> anyways while um uh, sasaki here is kind of different she is just very chill with everything so it was going to kind of clash you know and it did end up happening but it was resolved pretty nicely okay so they do plan out like uh should uh, like you know like a uh, like go outside of you know like uh, to where utopia street japan utopia okay so 
this is the first time I'm actually hearing about a place like this in Japan. Like I'm pretty familiar with the different places in Japan, the names at least. But Utopia, Utopia Place Japan. I'm, I'm guessing this is like an actual place. So interesting. Like it was interesting to see there's so many things over there where they actually went, you know. Like they took the train. Oh, no, sorry. Was it the train or was it a bus? Either way, uh, you know, like they took that and uh, while they were on the mode of transport, um, they were asking each other about what they do and this and that. Mm. Kato says that, um, oh, I am a showy player, you know, like I, I play showy, that's like what I do and that's also what I practice in my spare time. But Sasaki was like, ah, I just laze around and Komi was also like, yeah, I laze around. So, <clears throat> I love the fact that they were saying like, oh, that's what, that's the staple response of all beautiful girls. You know, I just laze around to do nothing. And it kind of reminded me of that whole thing of... Like, you know, people who study, they just say, like, oh, I don't study, you know, at all, haha, I just, I cannot do nothing, and in the day of the results, they're, like, at the top, <laughs> and, and the other people are, like, what the hell, like, what? <laughs> Anyways, um, either way, so, they go to, uh, like, like, a, like, a different attractions, the first attraction they go to is, <laughs> I love the name, <laughs> Spider-san. <laughs> spider sun okay i guess that's one way of like you know <laughs> referring to spider-man because you know like the honorific is their son so spider sun not spider man but spider sun <laughs> okay anyways uh, oh so <clears throat> so he she was ready with everything she had like extra tickets like an extra passes and first they go to spider sun 3d ride right? <laughs> spider sun i cannot <laughs> and then they like you know next they move on to i was it, it took me a while to understand what the next reference was they go to like a shop um where there was a lot of like you know snacks and everything honey potter's harry duke's shop this is a definitely harry potter reference and i'm guessing these candies were like those candies in harry potter that you get you know like in, in the <clears throat> in season uh, not season one sorry in in the first movie uh where you like you know not the first movie but we see the the, the those candies that harry gets in the train when she he's going towards hogwarts you know probably like those type of candies are here you know like just kept here or something next they go to uh, and kato is very much like you know rushing and the next one they go to like like a shark ride and i don't know if this is like a reference to one of those shark i think jaws i think most probably it's probably a reference to that or something i don't know like because i've not seen that you know like i've not seen those uh, i'm not familiar with that but i'm pretty sure this was also another reference um <clears throat> so it was that ride um and uh, we can see kato always like you know checking her wristwatch and trying to like you know keep everything in schedule and uh, what's her name um sasaki is like oh, okay what should we do and kato's like oh no time let's go <laughs> sasaki's like what we're already leaving and she's like 40 seconds left let's go <laughs> and then like you know, she's again checking her schedule and uh, then like you know they go to the takoyaki stall and kato is like okay let's take this and let's walk we'll save time and Sasaki is like, oh, it's bad manners and let's just eat it properly. And she's like, fine. She just shoves it on, on in her mouth, just throws away the letter. And she's like, let's go. And oh my God, like, you know, she, she, she was trying her best to maintain the schedule, the, the, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, obviously, um, Sasaki was a lot more chiller type. So she was not actually... Like, you know, like, kind of, she was kind of thinking, like, oh, what's happening? Why is she doing like this? But they do go to the next one. The next place they go is, what is that play, name of the place? Just a sec. Um, Todaiji. Okay. Yeah. Todaiji. So, then, like, you know, like, they go to the, the, the deers. They are there with the deer crackers. And as I was saying, like, you know, like, are the deer crackers actually, like, named deer crackers because they're fed to the deer? Or is it because of something else? Like, I, I don't know, like, you know? I, like, I've seen a lot of, like, in animals, like, them feeding deer crackers to 
<laughs> deers. So is it because they feed it to the deers? That's why they're named deer crackers, or is it because something else? I'm not so sure. Anyways, um, enough about that. So Komi is also has a cracker and she feeds it to one of the deers. And they're like, oh, this is so cute. This is so nice. Snapped a few pictures as well. <laughs> and just because they were admiring Komi, they got a bit late and almost like, you know, was missing the train. And they're just standing and Komi, like, they're like, okay, Komi, you sit down, we'll stand. And they're standing there. And here a little bit of, uh, like, you know, like a misunderstanding, not misunderstanding, but a kind of a thing happens where uh, Sasaki is like, oh, I'm tired. Like, you know, like, uh, you, you don't have to, like, you know, like, rush so much. She just casually said that. While Kato was, took it a little bit, like, you know, weirdly. And she was like, oh, I was the one who was making the schedule you know like and there's like a little spark going on around them and sasaki was like why is she acting like this and she was first of all she was rushing and now that she's like you know, acting like this while kato uh, was thinking like oh i did everything i did all the scheduling and everything and she's acting like this you know like both of them like you know kind of misunderstanding each other and everything and kind of a heavy atmosphere was happening they were like doing their own thing looking at their phones and all and obviously komi was not you know like that's not happy not happy but like you know, she was she was kind of being bothered by this and she was like she tried she was trying her best to actually make them become friends again so i think she was actually going to speak there she was going to speak but i she not doesn't speak most of the time <laughs> voice came out weird <laughs> and you know she kind of got embarrassed and then she started showing them all the pictures and everything and wrote that it was fun right wasn't it and they started laughing after watching the picture, especially that picture where <laughs> Komi took a picture of the close-up of the deer's face in a very weird manner. <laughs> and, <clears throat> you know, like, they were like, okay, okay, yeah. Like, and then they're like, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Rato was like, I'm sorry for rushing you guys. You know, like, was, this is supposed to be a very chill and calming, like, you know, experience. Like, we are here to we were we are here to just have fun not just do a marathon so she's like i'm sorry about that while uh, Sas uh, sasaki is also like no i'm also sorry because you are the one who prepared everything you know like i i did nothing so like you know I, kind of acting like that was a little bit rude of me you know when i did nothing on my own and uh, there you go they became good friends again and kato later on kato was like i, I decided to go to some place else as well since we are you know like were tired let's just skip that but komi was like no let's run and then they start running to the futomaki studio park yeah and here i'm so glad that they actually went there because my god komi in that dress maiko i think maiko that's what yeah maiko wasn't it that's what they called her like at first like a lot of people were calling her a geisha but there was a lot of people also wait what is the difference between geisha and a maiko i think uh you know what michael let me check michael apprentice geisha oh okay okay in kyoto and western japan while geisha is like you know we know like geisha is um godasans so <clears throat> yeah okay so uh, michael is like an apprentice all right so it makes okay that makes sense so she like you know was like in the michael costume and i'm so glad that they went there because god damn it looked good on komi you know like all the like you know, most kimonos and like you know yukata these type of things that we have all always seen komi in it looks so good on her and it like you know it, it, it just always is like a really like, you know, it looks really good on her so like you know again you know yeah again seeing her in that outfit yeah that was perfect and just like kato was like oh my god i thank i like you know, i thank god we came here <laughs> just crying and everything <laughs> And everyone was like kind of you know, just just crowding around her. Komi was like, what's happening? Why is everyone looking at me? And in comes those like you know, people who do the uh, the, the little play, you know? The 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 people like you know dressed in ninja costume, they're like, Oh, like you know, you can't fool me. You were the princess of that place. Seize her. <laughs> and the play started uh, like you know happening. And I think I've seen another anime do this type of a what anime was it like you know like like they like you know like went in like the, the this place most probably in kyoto and uh, like you know they got involved in this type of a play as well you know like there was like 
and ninjas and like nothing and they were like doing the play and the the main characters got involved in that as well i don't remember which anime it was but it was one anime ah oh god i forgot anyways um you know so yeah they I think they start doing the play and I'm kind of curious as to whether Komi realized what was happening or not because she seemed pretty freaked out. <laughs> okay, so, oh my god. Sasaki comes in and Sasaki is like, Sasaki went to the washroom and she came up and she's like, what is happening here? Komi's son is in danger. And she's like, what should I do? And oh my god, this part, I, I, I misunderstood her in such a weird way when she looked at her pockets and she was like, you know, like, okay, should I bring that out? But then she was like, no, there's a lot of people here. So what should I do? It would be embarrassing. And then she looks at like the, you know, the Hanya mask. And she's like, okay, that should do. As soon as that happened, I was like, wait a minute. Is she like a, like, you know, like some kind of a secret superhero or something? <laughs> if she does martial arts or something, I was, I was thinking, you know, like maybe she's going to jump in with that mask and like, you know, save Komi like a superhero or something I think that was going to happen she comes in with yo-yos and I'm like okay so <laughs> wow. and he busts some she busts some like you know really crazy yo-yo moves which looking at which the guys were like ah you know let's just run out of here like you know I, I don't like this <laughs> so basically she kind of did some like you know like some attacks which dealt mental damage you know and <laughs> The enemies got confused. <laughs> they ran away. <laughs> oh my god! And Komi was saved. My god! And now I I do realize what like you know like the in the opening we like there was like a scene which I always felt a lot weird when I looked at it in the opening. There was like a scene where you know like um Naruse was there and suddenly it changes to someone else with a mask, you know, and then that's like you know I was like what who is this? Is that Naruse? I, I, up until now, I thought that was Naruse, you know, with the mask. I now, now I understand who that is. So this is what's going on. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I, I do remember in the previous episode, someone in the comments told me you're going to like Sasaki. I think that's what like, that person said. Like Sasaki in the next episode. <laughs> I very much understand what that person was trying to tell me. Here we go. <laughs> and she starts busting out some yo-yo moves. Damn, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, and they run away. Anyways, um, she still did not realize that that was like actually a part of a play. So she, she, she ran away after that and take, took off the mask and she came. And she's like, oh, I just passed some weird person with the masks and some yo-yos. Like, what's happening here? And what, she forgot to put in one of her gloves and Komi and... <laughs> you know, Komi and... um. Oh my god, I forgot her name. Oh god. <laughs> I was so good. Like, I, I, I was getting pretty comfortable with the names. I just forgot the Shogi girl's name. Okay. Uh, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to call her the Shogi girl from here onwards. I, I just forgot. I, I knew this was going to happen. It's going to take a while for me to at least um, get her name, like, you know remember her name because I can rem I think I can remember Sasaki's name pretty well because her name like you know shares the same name with Sasaki Kojiro so I can remember Sasaki's name pretty well but her name I I, for I just forgot you know anyways I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it as the episodes go on but yeah for now I'm going to call her the Shogi girl so yeah the Shogi girl she was um yeah so now they go back to their hotel and uh, the shogi girl was like, all right, let's get this started. Let's start interrogating her and getting all the like, information out. And she was just made some like, you know, like one kind of imaginary shogi board started thinking of all the moves that she can play here and she can checkmate her and <laughs> started playing imaginary shogi. And she, like, and at first she was like, oh, that person, you know, there in the studio park, she, he was great with yo-yo, wasn't he? And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then she was like, um, yeah, like, you know, Sasaki kind of slipped up and she was like, oh yeah, like, you know, she was wearing the, he was wearing that Hanya mask or something. Like, that was crazy, wasn't it? And, <laughs> and the Shogi girl is like, how did you know that? You know, I never said anything about a Hanya mask. And little by little starts cornering her, you know, 
and uh, you know like then she brings out the championship yo-yo championship uh, like you know thing and she's like oh look at this number three who is this you know this name here is you and Sasaki still tries to act like you know oblivious and she's like oh I, I, it must be someone else there's a lot of people with different names like my own and uh, then she's like all right then show me your bag you know like i'm pretty sure there's the honey mask over there and little by little she's getting cornered while komi's like what's happening are they fighting or something <laughs> and then you know like um the shogi girl she she starts talking about how she wants to be a professional shogi player and she talks about how like you know male and females are in like a separate league and how it's quite difficult and no female has ever become a uh, uh, prof uh, what did she say? Uh, where is that part? Just a sec. Um, in Shogi, there's a clear difference between men and women. <clears throat> For Dan, I mean the number of professional female players, she as, as they call it, is zero. Okay, so... I, I did not know this okay so she says like yeah that's what is it's going on that's why she's like so uh, but so what like you know like do i stop just because of that just because i'm a girl just because i'm a female will i just stop just because no one has ever been able to become uh like you know like a kishi so she talks about how she he loved looking at her grandfather i think grandfather he said yeah the place where her grandfather fought and she wanted to go there to be at that place and that's why she really you know, admires people who are in like a profession you know like 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 in the in the top of like a profession so sasaki being in number three is like a very big deal and she's admiring that so she gives like this amazing little speech and sasaki's like it's not me <laughs> and She's like, okay, like enough is enough. Show me your back. <laughs> oh my god. Now Komi's like, uh, ah, I want to thank Hanya-san for help. You know, even if it's like a part of an attraction, you know, like she, he did save me. And Sasaki's like, wait, that was an attraction? She realized now. <laughs> she slowly goes to the <laughs> bathroom and she's like. Oh my god, that was so embarrassing, you know, like, I, I, I just, I did that, and that was part of an attraction, and <laughs> she's like, alright, fine, and, uh, like, you know, she gets reminded of her past, where, like, you know, uh, a lot of boys used to tell her that, oh, yo-yo, that's outdated, and you're a girl, why are you playing yo-yo, let's play Beyblade, and just goes to, to play Beyblade, I love the, the amount of references that this episode has, my god, oh, <laughs> Ah, so she gets reminded of that and she remembers how she felt frustrated as well and which is a similar feeling to uh, the shogi girl as well because as she said like you know there's no female in that position but that's why she even though that's the thing she never stopped and she's still ongoing so Sasuke was probably able to relate to that because she loves yo-yo and you know like she never listened to those boys who told her that oh that's lame you know so yeah, and now look at where she is. So <laughs> she goes outside in the Hanya mask with the yo-yo there and just starts busting out some moves again. And there you go. At that moment, worldwide yo-yo performer YY Hanya was born. <laughs> oh God. Okay, now that was that. And then in the, like, you know, later on, like they, they are going to sleep and like, I knew this was coming. They're like, all right, let's talk about love. You know, I think they call it Koibana. Yeah. And <laughs> so first things first, they ask Sasaki and Sasaki is like, ah, I don't have anyone like that. And uh, I, like, I do wonder if that was true or not. I am guessing she was telling the truth, you know, like, because who knows, maybe she's hiding something. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then they ask, um, wait, her name was Kato, wasn't it? I think I remember her name again. Let me check. Kato. Um, yes, Kato, no. Yeah, Kato Mikuni. 
isn't it yeah there you go okay thank god i remembered her name again <laughs> like weird things happen in my mind like i suddenly forget names and suddenly get reminded of it i don't know how and why that happens anyways kato there you go i'm um, finally i remember her name wait um her name is kato mikuni is a reference to the shogi player kato hifumi oh oh really okay as both of their given names consist of only kanji numerals interesting okay anyways um so yeah kato was now it was time for kato to answer and uh, at first kato was kind of shy and she was like all right i'm going to say it's katai kun and i was surprised i was like wait really and uh, like i would have never guessed that you know like and uh, <laughs> oh my god and she says like his int intense stare kind of he's <laughs> <is> good <laughs> Oh my god, great! And uh, <clears throat> then she's like, "All right, like enough about me, Komi. What's what about you?" And uh, Komi's like, "What are you talking? About? What what do you mean by like?" And they explain the whole situation of like, oh, like you know, like feelings of being like you know, like embarrassed whenever you're with that person, cannot relax around him. Sometimes you know, like you, your heart beats faster. You think like and always think about that person that type of a thing you know? anyone there and there they know they are like okay it must definitely be uh, Tadano and they're thinking of it and Komi it takes a while for Komi to understand what they said she kind of had like you know her mem like you know in her brain and the cogs were moving and she was thinking what they were trying to say and it finally hit her and I'm pretty sure she probably got reminded of the time when she <laughs> grabbed grabbed Tadano's hand you know when she was uh, sick and she's like she she just like you know like got embarrassed and all and every, like both of them are like oh what's the name what's the name what's the at least at least, at least tell us tell us her that person's last name you know like not first name we don't need the first name the, the first letter of the last name just tell that and uh, <laughs> like at this point like they were pretty sure it was Tadano so all they needed was the last name, the only one letter of the last name. That's why that's how they could confirm it. While I'm pretty sure Komi did not know that, you know, Komi did not know that they knew that it was Tadano. So she very casually writes the last name H, H for Hito Hito, you know, Tadano Hito Hito. And uh, <laughs> wait, just a second. Is Tadano's is Tadano the first? I think Tadano is the first name, isn't it? Or is it? You know what? Let me check. Tadano Hito Hito. Hito Hito is her last, his last name, isn't it? Tadano Hito Hito. Um, yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, that's correct. So yeah, Hito Hito is the last name. And I, for a moment, I was like, wait a minute. Is this like first name Hito Hito, or is, you know, is it Tadano? Because I I see like almost all people calling him Tadano, and I know that you know like. Uh, like and especially for girls like you know they kind of ask like you know like talk like you know, understand until they're very familiar with the other person they call them by their last name you know and uh, so that's why i was like okay um what like you know it's tadano's last name hito hito or is it the first name but nah his first name is tadano and his last name is hito hito i'm pretty sure yeah so there you go he she wrote h and obviously that's all that they needed to confirm it because they knew it was Tadano and they're like, all right, H, yeah, there you go, it's Tadano, Tadano Hito Hito. <laughs> okay, that was that, that was a good, you know, like, section and later on we see, like, you know, everyone going back to the train. Um, Nakanaka loses her darkness, what was the name? Kiku Ichimonji? <laughs> Rajimi, Najimi just, not Najimi, sorry, Yamani just grabbed her by the by her dress and just dragged her in i love the fact that they're getting along now in a weird way <laughs> they're always always at each other's throat but it's nice to see them getting along <laughs> and uh, yeah everyone's just like you know kind of talking and doing their own thing naji means there katai naruse tadano and obviously um kato um sasaki and komi now Gomi's fall fell asleep, you know, like a lot of like you know thing happened, things happened. They were like you know always like you know going from one place to other. They're tired, so Sasaki and uh, Sasaki is like you know has that 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 face, and she's like, all right, let's do a prank on her. <laughs> they go to Tadano, and they're like, 
Oh no, at first they talk about how they thought that Komi was like some kind of a superhuman or goddess or something. But from this trip, they were able to realize that Komi is so similar to them. And I'm, I'm glad about that because, you know, all the time we see the people in the class just put her on a pedestal and that's why they are not able to become her actual true friends. They're just friends in their name. So I'm pretty sure these two, since they have spent so much time with Komi, they will be a lot more comfortable, a lot more friendlier with Komi than a lot of other people who we just know by their name, you know. For example, that 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 night girl, you know, the other the, the other three boys, these characters who we barely even met and who barely even know Komi, they just are like their acquaintance type of friend, you know. They can compare to them, these two will be a lot more comfortable with Komi from here onwards. And you can call them like you know her genuine friends who she could just laugh around with. And uh, yeah, like obviously Komi has people like that. For example, Tadano, uh, Najimi, who else? Nakanaka, I guess, Agari you know um yamai as well i guess i have to include her because she is also part of the group <laughs> so yeah but you know like these two will also be in that group you could say that they're a lot more acquainted with komi than a lot of other people here uh since they spent this time now anyways um so okay now then like you know that's kids like okay let's pull a prank they go to tadano and they're like Oh, someone's like, you know, thug is bothering Komi. <laughs> and Tadon just gets up. Tadon's like, what's happening? And he just tries to go there and see what's happening. And here Sasaki is also like, all right, Tato, you sit over here. And <laughs> makes her sit beside <laughs> Katai. And, you know, Katai is, as always, with his intense staring. She, he was probably thinking of something about, like, Oh, like you know, like a new person is beside me. You know, what should I do? Should I greet that person or should I do something? Like you know, he was probably thinking of that while her face was scowling. You know, and we we heard like you know, like Kato likes that. You know, like her his intense scowling. He actually she actually likes that. So there you go, win win. <laughs> and uh, Tadan was like Tadan goes to Komi and sees that she's sleeping, and then like you know, sits down because. Uh, Sasaki was kind of pressuring her, him, with his her intense stare. She sits down and uh, she, like you know, like Komi kind of falls on his shoulder because she's sleeping. And it took a couple of minutes. She woke up and she. <laughs> I love the fact that it took a, quite a long time for him, to, her to understand what the hell was happening. At first, she gets up. She's like looking at Tadano. She's like, what? was happening and she actually kind of touches Tadano is like is this real or am I dreaming what is happening here oh the, this, his shoulder is warm that means I, I was actually putting my head on there <laughs> and then she gets embarrassed and she's like oh did I drool or something <laughs> while Tadano's face is completely just poker face and while in the inside he's just hyperventilating <laughs> and yeah in the end you know they have like the conversation and Tadano's like did you have a good time and she talks about all the different places they went to, the different pictures, and then there was that little section of the montage, you could say, of the different pictures that they took, which I, I really like, you know, like, liked the way they did that. And we also got to saw the picture, see the pictures, and Tadano was like, oh, that's really good. So did you have fun? And uh, Komi was like, yes, I did. And there you go, like, you know, I remember that episode where Komi was so afraid of whether you know like people are going to again not be happy if she gets in one of the teams and they will not be satisfied with her and Tadano told her that it'll be fine if that happens I'll go with you and all that stuff and all these things like you know Komi had in her mind like you know the whole thing with the previous school that happened where she went through a bad time in in this like you know the trip in the trip so here again in this like you know in this school you know with new people here she had a good time and she was able, able to have fun. So there you go. That's all that matters at the end of the day. And uh, yeah. And then Najimi also joins in and she's like, oh, like, tell me, tell me what happened. Uh, and yeah. And then after that, Komi goes, gets embarrassed because <laughs> her head was on. <laughs> her head was on Tadano and then Sasaki is just laughing away. Well, Komi and Sasaki, uh, Kato were just embarrassed because the way Sasaki kind of tricked them. <laughs> and there you go. That's how it ends. 
really beautiful episode a good way it ended and yeah that was nice so from the next episode onwards i'm guessing we're going to go back to like you know japan again and the normal stuff will start so yeah that was a good good experience so that's it thanks for watching this is my reaction to komi can't communicate uh, season 2 episode number 9 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it guys thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of homie can't communicate until then goodbye and have a nice day